Hello, hello grade 12, welcome to Academy Coordinates. In this video, we're tackling the equation of a circle at a point A and B. Okay, cool. Initially, on the previous video, we tackled an equation of a circle that had a center of 0 and 0, right? At this point in time, we are going to, you know, shift the circle, right? And then we're going to see the effect of those shifts on the center of the circle and the equation of a circle as a whole, right? Um, we knew that um, the equation of a circle that is centered at the origin is x squared plus y squared is equals to r squared, you know? But what is going to happen now if we shift the circle? You know what I'm saying? Initially, let's say we have a vertical shift a vertical shift, right? Okay, cool. So whenever we speak about a vertical shift, it's going to affect the Y's. You know what I'm saying? Okay, cool. Let's say um, our circle is shifted, um, I don't know, let's say B unit, right? Let's say it shifted B unit um, downwards, for example. B unit downwards, right? Um, okay, how will our new equation look like now, right? Let's, uh, uh, let's say A and B themselves, they are positive, but it is shifted B unit downwards. So the equation of our new circle will be X squared. X squared will not be affected, right? Because if we are speaking about a vertical shift, so it's going to be Y shifted one, two units uh, downwards. So it's going to be Y plus, um, sorry, B all squared is equals to R, right? Okay, what has happened here, guys? Um, our circle, which which had a center of 0, 0, was shifted two units downwards and, sorry, was shifted B units downwards and now it had a new center, which is 0 and negative B. Just take note here, right, that this is not negative B because of um, what we're interested in is the Y, right? So, um, so I shifted 1, 2 to B unit um, downward. So basically, um, um, here it's going to be a positive, right? Let's say if it has shifted 1 unit downward, it's just going to be 1, sorry, Y um, plus 1 right here. You know what I'm saying? But if it, if it has shifted 1 unit upward right now, right? It's just going to be Y minus 1, right? Okay, cool. And then secondly... Let's say there was a horizontal shift in this circle, a horizontal shift, right? So our circle was shifted now, I mean horizontally, right? You know, let's say it was shifted a unit to the left, to the left, right? Our circle was shifted a unit to the left, this circle, right? So it's going to be x plus a all squared plus y plus b all squared is equal to r squared. Sorry, this will actually be r squared. Um, sorry about that. It's going to be r squared. You know what I'm saying? Okay, cool. It's going to be r squared right here. So our new center now will be negative a and negative b, right? Okay, cool, guys. Um, let us continue. Okay, cool. So we know that C D right here, C D right here is called a radius, right? However, if I can say the length that is twice of C D, what will that be? That will be the diameter, right? Okay, cool. All right, guys. Cool, cool. So C D is gonna be the radius of a circle. All right, so now let us let us write the equation of a circle. Equation of a circle that is centered um, at a point A, B, right? Okay, cool. So it's going to be x um, plus A all squared plus y plus B all squared is equal to R squared. Okay, cool. Depending on what A or B is, you know what I'm saying, um, this sign might change. So let me just put plus or minus, plus or minus right there, you know, and then we're going to see the relevance of that as we tackle these examples. 
Okay, cool. The first example, guys. The first example. Um, let's say that you are given a a, a circle with center at a three four right here, right? And then there's you're also given a point, a point on the circumference of the circle, right? And so that point is point A three seven right so let's just um just imagine what we have right here okay this is y this is x so your center is at three and four so let's say one two three one two three four okay somewhere here that's where your center is and then a is three and seven cool cool so a is three and seven so it's one two three one two three four seven so a will be somewhere here so you've got your circle that's like this right okay cool it's not drawn to scale so this is c and your a will be here a will be here okay cool so now this is more or less the rough sketch of the circle right okay and also something i, I want to put to your attention guys is that um um okay this is three right here so it was from a circle from the origin it was like one two three units so basically, the circumference of the circle will actually be touching, right? And not cutting the y-axis. You know, just take note of that. So now they ask you to find the equation of this circle. The equation of the circle, right? Okay, cool, guys. Now, in finding the equation of the circle, just take note that you've got two points. You've got point C, which is the center of the circle, and then you've got point A, which is a circle, uh, sorry, a point on the circumference of the circle. Okay, cool. First and foremost, um, let us take, let us uh, make our equation to be like this form, right? So we can substitute the center of the circle. So we know that our, our equation will take this form. So it's a shifted three units, to the right, right? So it's going to be x minus 3, not plus 3, all squared, plus y minus 4, all squared, is equals to r squared, right? Okay, cool. So our equation will be like this, but now it's not complete because of we don't know what what is r. You know what I'm saying? Okay, cool. So now let's find r, guys. So um, I'm to find r, We've got another point. So what we're going to do is that we're going to substitute, substitute, right? Is that the right spelling? Okay, anyway. Substitute A, right, in this equation right here. So A is 3 and 7. Okay, cool. So if we do this, it's going to be, where there's X, we put a 3, 3 minus 3 all squared plus what is y y is 7 right minus 4 all squared that will equal to r squared right okay cool we continue um 3 minus 3 is a 0 0 squared is 0 okay so it's 0 squared plus 7 minus 4 7 minus 4 is 3 then if you say 3 squared is going to be 9 so it's going to be 3 squared is this will r this will equal to r squared right so r squared is equals to 9 but now what is r okay it's not necessary to find r but for you guys to just appreciate that to appreciate the radius of the circle so r will equals to um the square root of 9 right it's going to be plus or minus however the radius is always positive so r will be 3 you know what i'm saying so the distance from here to here is going to be 3 Okay, cool, guys. So our final equation is going to be x minus 3 all squared plus y minus 4 all squared is equal to 9, right? That 9 is not r, but r squared. Okay, guys. Okay, let's take it one step further. Let's say you are given a coordinate d, for example, right? Uh, let's say d is 4 and 1. And they ask you, is D, right, lying um, on the circle, right? Is D on the circumference of the circle or is D on the circle, right? So how are you going to find that D is on the circle? You're going to substitute 
d into this equation you have to get 9 if it is on the circle. But if you don't get 9, then it's not there, right? So let's substitute right here. So it's 4 for x minus 3 or squared plus um, 1 for y minus 4 or squared, right? So this value, if it's not 9, then we can, you know, be bold and say d is not on the circle, right? Okay, cool. So 4 minus 3 is 1 squared uh, plus 1 minus 4. So 1 minus 4 is what? Negative 3, right? All squared. So negative 3, negative 3 squared is 9. 9 plus 1 squared is 10. So D is not on the circle. Is not on the circle. Right? Okay, cool. Okay, guys. The last question here that I can put is... Right? Okay, cool. Does the circle... One, cut, touch, does the circle uh, cut or touch the y axis and the x axis, right? So you must be, you might, you might be given this question that says, does the circle cut um, the y axis? Um, it will cut the y axis if you find two um, um, y intercept, right? It will touch the y-axis if you only find y, one intercept. Same applies to the x. Let's just do it real quick. You know what I'm saying? You might, you know, get maybe such questions, maybe in exams, right? Or maybe some tests and stuff like that. Okay, first of all, let's find the info for the y-axis right here. Okay, cool. So, does the circle cut or touch the y-axis, right? First, we must find there are cases where this, the circle might not even cut or even touch the y-axis, those that we can find if the y-axis does not exist. You know what I'm saying? Okay, cool. So, for the y-axis, we know that x is equal to 0 at the y-axis, right? Okay, cool. So, we're going to substitute now x um, um, is, is equal to 0 in this equation, right? So, what will this equal to? This will equal to 0 minus 3 or squared plus y minus 4 or squared is equals to 9. Okay, cool, cool. So now we are just solving for y. Okay, so basically at this point in time, um, um, and this is, this is going to be a 9 right here, right? Okay, cool. So this is 9 plus y minus 4 all squared is equals to 9. So we know that these nines will actually cancel, not to cancel, but they will actually be subtracted out, you know, because if you take it the other side, it's going to subtract this one. So here we're going to find a zero. So y minus 4 all squared equals to a zero, right? So we can take the square root right here. So we're going to have y minus 4 equals to zero. So y is equals to 4, right? So there's only y, um, um, y intercept only one of it so it's zero and four so the circle touch the y axis right okay finally guys let's uh let's find whether does it uh touch or cut the x axis right okay at the x axis um for the x axis right um it's actually the equation um y we set y equals to zero right Okay, let me just um, just put it right here. The y-axis, the x-axis. The equation of this line, guys, please don't forget, the equation of this line is x is equal to 0. The equation of this line is y is equal to 0, right? So please don't forget that. So at the x-axis, which is this one, we said y equals to 0, right? So y equals, will equal to 0 in this equation, you know? So it's x minus 3 all squared uh, plus y minus... Sorry, so y will be 0, 0 minus 4 all squared is equals to a 9. So now we're going to solve for x. So x minus 3 all squared. Um, what is this, guys? This is negative 4 squared. So it's going to be positive 16, right? Plus 16 is equals to 9. Okay, cool. So we continue x minus 3 all squared. We take um, this thing... Um, 16, the other side is going to be a negative, right? So, 
negative 16 plus 9. All right. So I think this is going to be negative 7. Right. Okay, cool. Okay, cool. So now we are at this point, guys. What Whatever number that you can square can never, ever give you a negative number. You know what I'm saying? If you take a, 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 a negative number, square it is going to give you a positive number and never a negative number. So what does this mean? It means that the x-intercept does not exist. Hence, therefore, um, the circle does not touch or cut the x axis right okay guys so in other words let's let's just draw how our circle might look like the center is at three and four right so it might be here then it touches the y axis maybe our circle is like this right okay cool so our circle will be um, like this right here you know, it's not going to touch the x-axis and it's also not going to cut the x-axis because of this. You can solve for x here. You'll find that you, you actually um, get an error if you put that in your calculator. Okay, guys, do stay blessed. Enjoy the rest of your day. If you've got any questions, please feel free to comment below and I'll be glad to assist you guys. Enjoy.